students in this class we are going to see some important sulfa drugs ok. So, first one is sulfa methizole. So, already we have known sulfonamides all the sulfa drugs are having the basic nucleus this uh, uh, sulfanilamido moiety that is present in all the sulfonamides. So, what is that aniline that should have aniline and in my para portion it is having this sulfonamide group SO2 NH2. So, here one H is replaced by some other groups. So, in the case of sulfa methizole, the hydrogen is replaced by this one. So, what is that? What is the heterocyclic ring present here? This is a 5 membered heterocyclic ring. So, 5 membered means that should end with zole, ok. And it is having 3 heteroatoms, sulfur and 2 nitrogens. So, according to priority order, which is getting higher priority, sulfur. So, that is why it is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is why it is called. 1, 3, 4, thia, diazole, 2 nitrogens, that is why diaza. So, what is the chemical name of this ring? This is called 1, 3, 4, thia, diazole and that is having methyl at the fifth position, that is why its chemical name is 4 amino. So, what is the parent here? This is called benzene sulfonamide. So, that is the parent here. So, in the case of benzene sulfonamide, what all would be attached? Fourth position amino group is added, that is why 4 amino N open bracket what is that 5 methyl 1 3 4 thiadiazole and second portion is connected with Na that is why 2 YL benzene sulfonamide. So, that is the chemical name of sulfa methizole. So, what is the heterocyclic ring present in sulfa methizole that is called 1 3 4 thiadiazole and what is the use of this drug that is used in the treatment of urinary tract infections. Now we will see the synthesis of sulfamethizole. So, here para acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride and acetaldehyde thiosemi carbazone are the starting materials. So, already we have known CH3CONH2 that is called as acetamide. This we have known that is called as benzene that with SO2Cl means benzene sulfonyl chloride. So, in the para portion of benzene sulfonyl chloride this would be added acetamide is added that is why it is called para acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride. And here NH2 here we have sulfur no instead of sulfur we have oxygen means NH2 CO NH NH2. So, that is called as semi carboxide that is called semi carboxide. So, instead of oxygen we have sulfur means and this part is called as thio semi carboxide. So, if you are adding thio semi carboxide with acetaldehyde what happens this one is having 2 hydrogens no that 2 hydrogens combines with oxygen from acetaldehyde that removed as water and we are getting the product that is called as acetaldehyde thio semi carboxone. So, by adding these two what happens Cl combines with H and removed as HCl. So, the left group no NHCS, NH, NCH3 that is added with the SO2. So, we got this. Now, we are going for oxidation, cyclization and hydrolysis by using potassium ferricyanide. On hydrolysis what happens here we have acetamino. So, that would be hydrolyzed with the NH. H should be added with the COCH3 OH is added and that is removed as acetic acid. So, here we have only NH2 and here we have one hydrogen oh, this hydrogen this hydrogen. So, these two hydrogens are combined with oxygen and removed as water and to satisfy the valency of this carbon and the nitrogen there may be cyclization and we are getting 1, 3, 4 thiadiazole. So, that is why we are getting sulfamethizole. The next drug is sulfisoxazole or sulfafurazole. So, from the name itself we can say it is having isoxazole nucleus that one is otherwise called as furazole. So, it is having sulfanilamido moiety and that is connected with isoxazole. That isoxazole is having 2 methyls at 3rd and 4th. So, its chemical name is 4 amino N or N1, 3, 4 dimethyl isoxazole 5 YL or 5 isoxazolyl benzene sulfonamide. It is a short acting sulfonamide and usually given in acetal form because this derivative is tasteless and used in the treatment of urinary tract infections caused by susceptible strains of E. coli, Klebsiella, S. aureus and Proteus vulgaris. Usually given in combination with erythromycin ethyl succinate in the treatment of otitis media especially in children used in the treatment of meliodiosis caused by pseudomonas pseudomeli used to treat infections caused by nocadia. 
Next is sulfur methazine that is otherwise called as sulfur dimidine. Okay. So here we have sulfur nilamido moiety and that one is connected with pyrimidine with 2 methyl. So because of the pyrimidine it is called sulfur dimidine, sulfur. So this is sulfonamide imidine for pyrimidine ok. So, it is having pyrimidine nucleus with 2 methyls at 4th and 6th. So, that is called sulfur methazine or sulfur dimidine. So, what is the chemical name 4 amino N or N1 whatever it is because this is the first nitrogen this is the fourth nitrogen. So, N or N1 4 6 4 6 dimethyl pyrimidine 2 YL second portion is connected with that that is why 2 YL benzene sulfonamide. So, it is used in the treatment of urinary tract infections and it is less effective in meningeal infection because of its poor penetration into the cerebrospinal fluid. This is called sulfacetamide. So, what is sulfacetamide? With the sulfanilamido group acetyl would be added, COC3 is added that is called sulfacetamide. So, its chemical name is N sulfanilyl acetamide, otherwise 4 amino N1 acetyl benzene sulfonamide here we have to include benzene benzene sulfonamide now we will see the synthesis so what is the starting material sulfanilamide is the starting material with that we are going for acetylation by means of acetic anhydride on acetylation both the NH2 would be acetylated so we are getting NHCOCH3 here also NHCOCH3 now we are going for selective partial hydrolysis on hydrolysis what happens this one no there may be a cleavage between nitrogen and carbon so here H should be added and here OH is added so we are getting only NH2 here and this is removed as acetic acid. So, this is called as sulfacetamide and that is used in the treatment of eye infections. Next drug is sulfapyridine. So, from the name itself we can say it is having a pyridine nucleus and that is connected with the sulfonamide. So, here we have sulfanilamido group and that would be added with the pyridine. Here second portion of pyridine is added with the NH that is why its chemical name is 4 amino N 2 pyridinyl benzene sulfonamide instead of writing 2 pyridinyl we can write pyridin 2 YL benzene sulfonamide. So, that is the chemical name and it causes kidney damage it causes severe nausea in most patients. Um, because of the high toxicity it is used only for dermatitis herpetiformis and it is having curative action on pneumonia. So, other sulfur drugs will see in next class.